Good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally rolling. Yes, indeed we are. We have finally managed to get us a new bolt, new stud there for that wheel. So we are finally rolling and down we go. Here we are in Chicago and it started drizzling a little bit. So, hey, that's the way it goes. We are finally starting our day already in the afternoon actually but whatever we finally got the bolt and we needed that it's a DOT violation and we don't have it so it's required yes indeed it is so let's get through Chicago before the rush hour starts I mean we're basically right in Chicago already but uh, yeah let's get through here before we get big traffic jam going and all that good stuff but yeah I don't know how good we're gonna be on time I don't know if we're gonna be on time but with our delivery it's gonna be close but whatever it happens it happens right I, mean, I did have a bolt break on me so we gotta gotta fix that right alrighty guys we just made a little bit of a pit stop here at the uh, Petro here in Remington, Indiana. Yeah. Ran in real quickly there to the Petro there and asked him to do a retork on my rim there. So I had already driven my one hour. So actually a little bit over an hour, about an hour and a half actually. So that's usually about the time where they want you to retork the wheel. So we just got her checked and uh, everything looked just fine. So. Uh, so yeah, so here we are. We're good to go. Back on track. Hammer down, hammer down, that's it. At least now we know we are safe out here on the road. Got the wheel retorked. All of that good stuff, right? So that's very, very important. As you know, uh, bolts break. Things loosen up, all that stuff. So. 72 miles to go up to Indianapolis. Not too far anymore, but still about an hour and 15 minutes, I would say, and we're going to be in Indianapolis. Well, yeah, we're going to be hammered down for a sure for a couple of hours yet, so I'm going to try and get as far as I can tonight. Get her going, eh? I know we started our videoing here a little bit late in the afternoon already, so hopefully it can still show you some things, but I'm just trying to get frustrated with trucking, you know, it's like wasted all this time there in the morning trying to get my bolt and took forever to get one, so well, we finally got her and now we're hammered on, right? That's the way it goes in trucking sometimes. No matter how hard you try, it doesn't always work. <laughs> but anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. And we'll show you what we can. What a day, guys. What a day. I broke down, guys. I got my uh, cover there on the side. Look at these guys not moving over, eh? How dangerous is that? Yeah. I think I have discovered what the problem is and there's a wire there by the battery that uh, same like the pump the diesel pump wasn't kicking in or whatever so that appears to be the problem don't know 100% for sure but I think that's what the problem is that's what it seems like anyways as soon as I was moving on that wire I heard uh, the diesel pump come on but look at these guys they're not moving over one little bit eh they're too scared to slow down and get behind another truck you know so but we finally got the truck running I hit a bump over there and that's when my truck went out it wouldn't start again so I called in Taggarty and uh, the Volvo dealer and they said it sounds like a battery issue so I checked all the wires and I had the ignition on and all of a sudden I heard my uh, injector pump or, or my diesel pump go on so then I knew it had something to do with that. So uh, then I was able to start her again. So 
just kind of waiting for the traffic to die down a little bit and then I'm gonna put this cover back on and I'm gonna get my uh, triangles and we'll uh, see if we can get back on the road. All right guys, we are done for today unfortunately. And it has been a very stressful day today. I don't wish days like this on anybody. That's that's the truth, man. That's you know, I just finished spending eighteen thousand two hundred dollars on this truck, and uh, I get down here down the road, and this I sixty five is so rough, bumpy, and stuff like that that. It kind of broke the connection there on the by the batteries there one of the cables there so that's what happened there earlier when you guys saw me broke down there on the side of the road so that was a bad experience I'm telling you sitting there on the side of the road and trying to work right there by the batteries and nobody respecting uh, my triangles put up and everything got my four ways going and everything you know and it's like nobody moving over and it's just like a very very dangerous situation but looks like my battery is probably gonna shut my lights off here pretty soon but that's what that beeping noise is about but if it does we'll turn her back on right uh, but uh, yeah we have made it to Jefferson <laughs> Jeffersonville uh, Ohio we were here a few weeks ago when we went down here to uh, North Carolina right so uh, so yeah we are done for today so I think we're just gonna go to bed here pretty soon and then uh, we'll continue on with our journey tomorrow I just did my calculation here a little bit ago and it looks like uh, if I don't have too much of a delay anywhere I might just barely be able to make it there on time before they close which is 1430 looks like I'll be there just after two o'clock or two o'clock or quarter after two so keep our fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong tomorrow and uh, all that good stuff so anyways enough with yapping here so we gotta go to bed and get up early in the morning and get going right after a 10 hour break so let's get to it appreciate you guys sticking around with me I know today has been a crappy day but not the first time and probably not the last time <laughs> here we go again light shot enough on me but uh, AP and it should kick in here in a minute or two but whatever uh, that's all I got for today thank you for watching well I'll see you on the next one which is tomorrow morning have a good one <laughs>